welcome back to a new recording session. Uh, yeah, I do each recording session by chapter. Now, let's see. The... Yeah, this is the last quote-unquote case that we have right now. And I'm assuming we're gonna be adding more. Because here's the thing. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there are supposed to be... 12 cases? Like, 12 chapters in this game? I could be wrong, though. But I think it's something like that. Now let's see. The Goddess of the Thames. Cat and Co have been invited on luxury cruise. But will the Golden Goddess in the Grand Lounge keep smiling? Interesting. Let's see how this. Let's see how this one goes, shall we? I say, what a smashing vessel! It's much more luxurious than I'd imagined. And I don't even have my own candle. So this is a thing met Wait, thing Titanic. This supposed to be a, a pun on Titanic or something else. Or something else? Uh, she's stunning, isn't it? Isn't she? I can't. I can't quite believe you'll be selling on her. I was picturing something more or less grand. After all, it's described as an affordable yet luxurious cruise ship. Yeah, when they, I'm pretty sure when they mean affordable, I mean for people that are actually rich. What's an affordable yet luxury ship when it's at home? I heard it was supposed to be a small cruise ship that the average member of the public could afford to enjoy. This is small? It certainly doesn't look small, does it? Gosh, just imagine what the inside is going to be like. I never dreamt I'd ever travel on a ship like this. No, nor do I. And we certainly wouldn't be, be if it wasn't for Madame Dubé giving us a ticket. I'm so excited about the party too. Cruising down the Thames, hobnobbing with London's elite. The ticket says, in celebration of the maiden, maiden voyage of the thing, thing Tannic. It's all very fancy, isn't it? Maybe old double chick isn't really fat at all. Maybe it's all money stuff to open her dress. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that on the show. Cause yeah, if she was a jerk I wouldn't mind, but she does like seem like to be a bad person, so... Eh. I mean, three, t three tickets on a cruise like this must have cost us more fortune. Definitely. And she even arranged it so that you could come along too, come too, sure. Dogs aren't usually all on board. As a fellow pet lover, she probably threw her weight around a little for us, and Nix decided to join me as per usual. No! Don't drop on the mic. There, just hold on. Just look, Nix, just lay down here. There, stay. Thank you. She'll move in, uh, I'd say, five minutes from now, but still, that's... Uh... Well, I owe her a lick for saving me just from boredom, boredom at the office. I just hope it isn't too rough. And she's already up, it's not even been one minute. Now, Ernest, you did bring out the luggage, didn't you? Oh yes, miss, I just entrusted it to that can a little while ago. He said it would be taken to our cabins later. I must say... Your case was particularly heavy. Your case was particularly heavy, Miss Layton. Whatever did you pack? Oh, was it really that heavy? I only put in essentials. I can already see the gag that somehow happened. Gosh, I didn't realize essentials could weigh so much. She's probably got a kitchen sink in there, pinstripes. Cat, what the dickens are you doing here? Ah, good evening, Inspector Hastings. Have you been invited on the maiden voyage as well? Yeah, by Dublin. Said it, it was thank you for all the hard work and put all the. Sorry, his way of speaking is so hard for me to read. Said it was a thank you for all the hard work I've put to help here, her at times. Couldn't very well refuse, could I? Ah, Madame invited us as well. Thank heavens for that, Nix, I can see. I was starting to wonder who I could talk to. I suppose the rest of the guests will all be millionaires. 
Lay down, please. I don't know. The thing, thing Tannic is supposed to be an affordable yet, yet luxury cruise ship accessible to all. Ha! Yeah. Looks like a highly accessible. These well to do lot don't know what's normal sometimes. It is an incredible vessel, isn't it? There seems to be an awful lot of crew members as well as the guests. I think a vessel of this size requires a considerable crew, miss. They certainly seem to be very busy, don't they? Get those strengths on board. What does it look like I'm doing, eh? It looks like you're dragging your feet, so faster, man, faster. All right, all right. No, Nix. We'll be in anchor soon. We've got to get everything on board. Poor people, they're worse off their feet. Hmm? What is it, cat? Isn't that a million over there? Yes, yeah, so it is. I think you see this too. Look. Good evening, Inspector. Catriel. Ernest. Oh, and I see you've brought your pet along with you. Good evening, Emiliana. Have you been invited to the party of the thing, Tannic 2? Yes, I have. You're not coming, are you? Yes, we are. Madame Dubé invited us. Oh, yes. Joseph invited me too. Uh, I was supposed to be able to relax and enjoy the cruise. Not much chance of, of that happening with you on board. Oh, don't be like that. Let's enjoy it together. Oh, miss, it looks like you're ready to embark. I do apologize for the wait, ladies and gentlemen. However, we are now ready to begin boarding the vessel. Mind your step as you walk up the gangplank and enjoy the cruise. Ah, this is so exciting! Come on, come on, on we go! Wait for us, miss! Hey, don't forget, forget your pet! I think I've noticed now that the title card is taking more and more time to appear with each chapter. It's much larger than I expected. I wonder where our cabins are. I think our cabin numbers are printed on the tickets. Oh really? Let's see. Oh yes, here it is. It looks like I'm the standard class deluxe. What? I'm the standard class deluxe though. Oh yes, so you are. And our cabin number is the same too. So fellow cabiner, looks like you're sharing for the night. Mm. Madame Dubé has a lot to answer for. <laughs> I just seem to be a regular standard class. Cabin number... Um... Ah, same as we, sunshine. Looks so like we bunk up together. Well, I think our cabin is down this way, miss. So we'll meet up again later, shall we? Alright, and we'll see you later. So, Emiliana, shall we? This is going to be fun. I don't think so, Cheryl. Your cabin is the other way. Eh? You may be a dog, but you still can't share a cabin with those ladies. It's not, not what a gentleman does. I, I knew that. I'm oh, just confused. Pinstripes, wait for me! <laughs> so, the deluxe accommodation appears to be this way. Oh, people to talk to. Now, let's see. Uh, but before that... Hint coins, lights... No... Yeah, no, there are only two. <laughs> Thank you for the other hint coin. Oh, she only... Oh, that's our first. Thank you, I think that was all. Let's talk to you now. Deary, deary me, good evening, ladies. Well, what a ship, don't you think? Yes, it's fabulous, isn't it? And it's made on voyage, too. Look at all the best work gleaming. This is a rare pleasure indeed. I must say, I'm looking forward to the party later, too. Ha 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 ha. Oh, this guy has a puzzle. What are you just standing there for? What are you standing there for? There was a puzzle left inside my cabin door. Open bracket, yawn, close bracket. I'm just trying to think what to do with it. I see. Well, I can solve it for you if you like. Darts practice. Okay. 
Faces and darts practice the board is just like the one in the picture. On the previous turn, three darts were thrown and all three of them landed in different sections. What was the lowest possible score? The lowest possible would be 35, right? I mean, if the score is as low as possible... Here, let me just read the question right to see if I'm doing right. Uh, the board just... Uh, when the picture turned, turned, three darts were thrown, and all three of them landed in different sections. Yes. What is the lowest possible score? 35. 5 plus 10, 15. 15 plus 20, 35. I'll have the answer shortly. What could possibly have gone wrong? Okay, I'm... Uh, let's try this again. Uh. Fuck it, let's just do... I don't... Let's just do this, I just want I don't know. Collate the data and the answer will drop out. Of course, I knew I would be able to solve it. I'm sorry, what? You did it. The lowest possible score is 15. One of the darts missed the board entirely and secure, scored zero. How was I supposed to know that? How? He literally said us to hit three different sections. And he would say, oh, the, the, the sections outside the board also count. In that case, it could have been, oh. This is so freaking stupid. There you are, all done. That was brilliant. In fact, I think you'll find it was unlike doesn't like the final scene of Maverick Director of Revolution Mad Max Super Sonic Soup Kitchen. Right? The same sort of catharsis and exhilaration was provided by the protagonist's father as he sank into a giant vat of soup with his thumbs in the air and. Excuse me, I really must go. I think he has a crush on you! Okay, I need to go to a different section. Yeah, let's go here to the cabin. But man, that puzzle was so freaking stupid. That is annoying. It literally said sections. You would assume the section would be the ones on the board. It was so dumb. So this is standard class deluxe. It's quite a large cabin actually, isn't it? Well, look. Yes, it's certainly better than, than what I was expecting. Oh good, and my suitcase is here already, I see. Is it really a little overstuffed? What have you got in there, Catriel? The detective's bag is always full. I have many important things to take around with me, even for one night. That's too much for one night, surely. You can manage all for a week with a suitcase, that's full. I don't think so. I will whittle it down to the bare minimum. Anyway, let's not waste any more time talking about luggage. We should be on the deck to enjoy the cruise. Well, I agree with that. Too much time in here could be trying. Shall I go ask Ernest and Inspector Hastings if they want to join us? Yes, alright. We'll go and find our cabin in the standard cab, standard class. Ah, I wanted to see the suitcase to see if we how stuff it was. Oh well. One here, uh, check the lights. Thank you. Also, I could have saw someone here somewhere. Yeah, I don't think there. Oh wait. Okay, so well, this one also has something. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's much more here. This is a condenser room without a lot, so it's relatively easy to find the hint points. Hello, Ernest. You and the Inspector are all tell us all in, I hope. So, this is a regular standard class, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> yes. Oh, hello again, miss. Is, is there something wrong with our cabin? You keep peering around. Honestly, it's not that shabby looking, really. Oh no, it's just, well, it seems a little basic compared to ours, that's all. Really? Yes, yeah, more than a few rugs down on the ladder of luxury, I'd say. If our cabin was a Ritz, yours would be, say... No, don't say it, miss. Please, I think I'd rather not know. We're both in standard class, it can't be that different. 
This cabin is pretty fancy if you ask me. I, I agree. I think it's a splendid cabin. <laughs> a roof to keep the rain out, walls to keep the wind out, and a door to keep the noise out. What's the problem, eh? Gosh, should you put it like that? I feel rather small for letting a little thing like this roof on my feathers at all. Ha <laughs> ha. So you should, sun sh sh yeah. sunshine. Who gives a monkeys what the monkeys what the room's like? As long as you can zip in it. Get your priorities right. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, sure, if you can afford more luxury, go for it. But hey, just be glad you have the basics sometimes. Yes, Inspector. Sound advisor, miss. You really shouldn't let this cramped little cabin get you down. Who was that I brought it up again? Anyway, Emilian and I were wondering if you'd like to join us on the deck. Rather! I'm dying to see what's like up there. Excellent! What are you waiting for, then? Hint coin, of course. Uh, of course, the lights. Maybe one here? No, it's just text. Ah, now I have the three. Oh, spectator joins too. Nice. I had a feeling it would be here. And also here. Oh, yeah, there's the book here. Yeah, I don't know why, but the book was really standing out to me. Yeah, I think that's all here. Let's just go. Oh my god, we have a full RPG party, look at the top! <laughs> Emiliana, uh, Inspector, and I think it's supposed to be Hercule, right? Uh, Pinstripes or Ernest, Doggy or Cheryl and Catriel. It really get, I don't know why, but Cheryl's name just slipped my mind. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. With cloudless skies above, we have a perfect night for, for our cruise. The crew still has some final preparations to make before we depart, so please just enjoy the atmosphere. That must be the ship's captain. Yes, no question. How can you tell, miss? Oh, I just can. That's again? Hm. I don't think you're far off there, Catfield. Oh, do you think so too? His composed demeanor, his uniform, the fact that he addressed the passengers. Yes, I'd say there's a high probability that he is the captain of this vessel. Ah, so you really like me, Emiliana. You think he's captain as well? You simply guessed. I, on the other hand, use my profile skills to arrive at the truth through logic and reasoning. I'm not like you at all. More like you use your profile skills to to do an educated guess that you still don't have the proof of. Yes, there's a very high chance he's a captain, but it's not guaranteed. Oh, you too, he's coming over, look. Yeah, the fact his name is Captain Pullman also probably, you know, kind of gave it away to us. Welcome aboard the Thing Tannic. I'm the captain of this vessel, Midas Pullman. I want to say that's supposed to be a... A joke or a pun on. I think his name was. No, it's not probably the guy from Greek mythology that King Midas said could turn everything to gold that he touched. No, I don't think that's it. It's probably something else that's not coming to mind. I hope you enjoy your cruise. The weather forecasts for low winds and no rain. So you should, you should be in for a treat. I, kn I knew you were the captain. Yes, we're very much looking forward to this, Captain Pullman. Thank you. I'll say, the ship of yours is really very swish, isn't it? You like her, do you? Yeah, she's as small as cruise ships go, but plenty big enough to be comfortable. She doesn't seem small to me at all. Haha, <laughs> is that so? I'll put her alongside some of the grander ships and you'll soon change your mind, sir. True, some of these cruise ships are gigantic. Want proof? You know the giant titan that appeared over the wall in Attack on Titan? I think I saw once an animation of showing his size compared to stuff. The cruise ship is so big, he could lay down on it. And I don't mean like from tip to tip, no, I mean from... I think, I don't know if it's vertical or horizontal, but he could just lay down on the ship. It, 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 yeah, there'd be space to spare, it's so gigantic. It's so gigantic, seriously. Do I think that was more a cargo ship than a cruise ship, but still, the things are massive. 
The ship I kept in before this one, for example, was a Goliath by comparison. Gosh, you've kept in larger vessels. Amazing! You can't judge a ship by its size alone, though. It's certainly the case of the bigger, the better. The greatest cruise ships are the ones that give their passengers the smoothest and most enjoyable ride. Well, that's jolly. Well, that's jolly sound logic, yes. So I like to go over an itinerary for me. After we set off, we'll head down the river towards the sea and on into the open waters. Once we're a little way offshore, we'll let the party go into full swing, then tomorrow we'll head back up, up, uh, up the river to land again. Gosh, it seems jolly romantic, doesn't it? A dinner party on a cruise ship in the open waters of the sea, getting back to shore. It sounds wonderful, yes. Dinner on such a luxury ship is bound to be absolute mouth-watering. And of course, she's more interested in food. I think I can see through. Well, we should be ready to depart any moment now. So I wish you all a very enjoyable cruise, ladies and gentlemen. Case 8, the goddess of the Thames. Also, I love the fact that they ended up putting this little cutscene right there in the end and I just add flavor, I guess. We're off at last. I'm sure this is going to be quite an adventure. I have a feeling something's going to happen. When you say I've got a feeling something's going to happen, that usually means a case. Well, don't inspect it. This is supposed to be a break from work for me. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You and me both. Let's hope, let's hope we can stay off duty, eh, Perfetti? Yes, let's just enjoy the cruise. My suitcase is the only case I need. Excuse me, Miss Catriel Layton, I believe. And Inspector Hayes, Hastings and Mr. Perfetti from Scotland Yard, if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Fool. Madame Dublet told me that she had sent your invitations for this little cruise. Ah, yes, you own the Seven Dragons, aren't you? I remember seeing you at the premiere of No Sub for Love and Savior. Yes, indeed, miss. I am Mustafa Fuho. Mustafa. I know that's not the same, but it, 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 just, it just sounds so much like Mufasa from the Lion King. The owner of the ship. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Perhaps you have heard of my shipbuilding business here in London. Bountiful Holdings, it is called. Bountiful Holdings? Yes, it's a UK number one shipbuilding and ship company country. I wonder if that's true or if they ended up making up a name. Because again, I wouldn't be surprised. According to the company company's house, profits in recent years have derived as much from marine transport marine, marine transportation as shipbuilding. The company shareholders report indicates a new investment in passenger shipping. I believe the objective is to reclaim some of the business loss to the motor and airline industries in recent years. Ha ha ha! You are very well informed, Miss Perfect. Yes, in fact, this affordable luxury cruise ship was one of my own ideas. One cannot tread water in businesses. One in business. One must always seek new horizons. Think of new ideas. He's right. In the past, I've taken no prisoners when, it, when I was making any for myself. Many of my rivals left because of me. Every man in the, is a smith of his own fortune. The dog and dog world, as they say. No doubt the eminent detective such as yourself understands what I'm talking about. Hmm? I am... Um, I, I try not to eat my dog. <laughs> so the people are to gain evidence through sheer good luck. Well, it is uncommon for Madame Dublé to compliment anyone. She tells me you have an incredible mind. I want to see that mind in action. A tall order. 
I think I missed a few puzzles, Jesus. When the whistle is blown, sail with flags down the rhythm and those with flags up to all of them. Okay. You need to make all the sailors have their flags raised by issuing exactly five commands. Select the whistle on the left and drag it while holding down the H to blah blah. Yeah, the circle and you flick the button you'll blow the whistle and the flag. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. I'm honestly just testing this. Oh god, I knew it was. Yeah, no, I think I got the general idea. I'll see you guys when I'm finished with this. Till then. 3,000 whoop who's later. Here's an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Gonna be honest, this one was annoying too. Mostly because the circle was being picky. Because oh, there was times that the guy was clearly in the circle but it wasn't counting. The other times it was barely touching and it counted. The, the hit detection in the circle was very bad. You did it the way it is always when you switch your commands to sailors in the center area and the four areas around the edge. Order. Ah yes, it seems all true. These rumors I hear of your, of your extraordinary talent. Thank you. If you ever find yourself in a fix, please do come and ring my bell. <laughs> Fixes do not trouble me, but I will certainly remember your name. So, I wish you all the most enjoyable voyage. Miss Fullhold, forgive the interruption. The steward informs me that they are ready to begin the party. Ah, thank you, Midas, or Midas, or whatever it's supposed to be pronounced. You hear we are in open waters already? Yes, sir. The Thanktanic is a very speedy vessel, isn't it? Not. Perhaps in the same league as the SS Midas touch that you are captain before. Oh, so it is supposed to be Midas. Good to know. But I hope you are satisfied with her. Absolutely, Mr. Fullhold. She handles like a dream. So, my friend, it seems the party is underway. Please make your way to the Grand Lounge. Let us celebrate this maiden voyage in style. The party, miss. This is so jolly exciting, isn't it? I can't wait to see what's, what it's like. Let's go straight. To, yeah, let's go straight to there now. Yeah, but first, uh, oh, see, stuff to do. Sinks, stinky sea storm. I thought it was sinks. Special event coins, Jesus. Good thing here. Uh, are they separate? No, they're not. Oh wow! Oh wow! This is the bed, isn't it? It's like a dream, Benji. I never ever thought we'd ever get to go on a cruise ship like this. Neither did I. But it's going to be one of the, be the new thing. Affordable luxury. I like it. Is it a bad? Isn't it? And, it? and you're so amazing for fighting out about it. It loves it. Long as I'm waiting for having it. Everyone's going to be talking about it soon. Everyone. But we want. But we went on it first. We have to take loads of photos to show everyone. Oh, I want to take photos with you, Benji. We have to get someone to take one of those photos. That is a bad. 
the most brilliant idea yet, Bess. You're the brainiest. Oh boy. I mean, kudos for them for being in love, but still. The party is getting underway now. If you could all make the way to the Grand Lounge, please. I know, I know, I already talked to all of them, but still. The party is the crowning glory of this maiden voyage. I promise you a most indulgent experience. I mean, the general idea of having a, a cruise ship that is affordable to people isn't like actually that bad of an idea. The problem is, what is considered affordable? And I think I just saw what, what the mystery is gonna be. It's gonna be about this giant golden angel statue. 